In today's video, we are going to be subbing on these Dollar Tree Argan Oil Infused Microfiber Hair Wraps. You've probably seen these before, although I don't think they were infused before. I think they were just regular. I could be wrong. Um, but they're microfiber, so we should be able to sub on them. And this would just be a cute, like, stocking stuffer type gift. Um, just personalize it with their name or favorite characters or florals or whatever so if you want to see how well this turns out or if it doesn't just keep watching if you're new to my channel my name is Leslie my channel is all about crafting on a budget I do cricket supplementation and sewing videos so if any of those things interest you please consider subscribing joining my youtube family and let's just jump into okay, this so now we're gonna prep our head wrap we're gonna have to open it up And this is how it looks. It has a elastic. You can smell it. You can definitely smell the oil infused in there. And then in the bot in the front, it has a plastic button. So we want to be careful with that when we're subbing. You can lint roll yours. I'm honestly not going to. Am I gonna regret it? I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of names on it. And I'm just going to randomly place them. I'm going to try to stay away from the front because of that plastic button that we have there. But I'm just going to randomly place them. I messed up some of these. I don't know how I messed them up. Okay. Make sure that you mirror your design when you're printing it out. I'm just randomly going to place things. And you could use like a Cricut Easy Press Mini for this project so that you don't have to warm up your heat press and all of that. And I'm going to do one side and then I'll probably do the other side later. So I have these florals. I don't think they're going to show up too well, but we'll see. I picked a light color. I think they also had like a tannish color that might be better. Let's take this to our heat press. You can also use the mini and do them one by one. I'm going to try the heat press. Hopefully it turns out okay. Okay, so I decided to try this on my heat press. And I'm just going to make sure I keep the button out of my heat press. Maybe do it like this so that, let's see, so that the button is out. And this top seam is kind of out. So you might need to like move it and adjust it. And then I'm going to put my Teflon sheet on top. I don't need butcher paper, but I want to protect it. I'm going to loosen my pressure because right now my heat press has too much pressure. And you don't want to want it to have that much pressure. So I'm doing kind of light pressure on this one just because I don't want to flatten it out, but I want it to sub. So I'm just going to do 360 for 60 seconds because that's what my paper requires. If you have a different paper like a sub, maybe do 400 for 60 seconds unless your heat press runs high. Um, then do maybe like 385 for 60 seconds. Okay, moments of truth to see how this turned out. I'm going to take off the Teflon on heat gloves. And we're start removing them slowly. Ooh, it worked out great. And you can actually see the floral so much more than I thought you would be able to. If you have those tape marks, just go with your finger really quickly while it's still hot and it'll go away. Like the tape marks from the pressure. And now we're just going to put our words on the other side and then we're going to come back and press that.
The head wrap turned out so cute. I'm honestly impressed that you can see the florals as good as you can. I didn't think you were gonna be able to. It's so cute. You can personalize it for yourself, personalize it for someone else. I, I, I love how this turned out. I was a little skeptical, but it's really, really cute. If you liked it, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, for supporting my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video.